I've used this trick before, but I always forget about it. So I figured I'd make a video on it. If you use like a repair assistant, like for instance, this is RX repair assistant and you just overdo the hell out of it. You can get these really interesting sound design things out of it basically. So for instance, D-click, right? This is a, a plugin to try and reduce like clickiness, like from a vocal file without D-click on it, it sounds like this. Now drop it low and let me see it. And then if we turn D clicking on and turn the sensitivity up, it sounds like this. Now drop it low and let me see it. So you can barely tell the difference because it's basically removing these like really tiny like clicks out of it. If we click output clicks only, you get just that stuff and it sounds like this. So what I was doing just now is I was using RX10's repair assistant, which is like all of the things in one. It's a de-esser, de-clicker, de-clipper, de-noiser, and de-reverber. I was like pushing the hell out of this. And if you have a listen to the result, it sounds like this. I found that interesting. Sometimes when I'm doing sound design, I'll, I'll use these kind of tricks. And so I thought I would share it with you.